Welcome to Waco ISD. My name is Ms. Alvarado and we are at Alta Vista Elementary. Today we're celebrating Earth Day and today we are doing lots of different activities all the way from pre-K to fifth grade. Some of the activities we are doing are um, recycled, we're taking recycled egg cartons and we're making butterflies. Our kindergartners are making, are taking plants and using biodegradable uh, pot holders. Um, our first graders are making bird feeders made out of recycled toilet paper um, tubes. So there's lots of different things. Our second graders are getting the opportunity to meet with a master gardener and learning about the life cycle and about planting and the importance of making sure that we have food. Our fourth and fifth graders are making solar energy uh, ovens and they are cooking s'mores. Okay, boys and girls, today is a special day and you know what day it is? Birthday! Yes. And when did it start? 1970. Right, you've got that. And the reason we needed Earth Day? Because, because the Earth wasn't clean and the water was, was going to catch on fire because there was a lot of waste. In one river it was that bad. Uh, and so our goal on Earth Day is to learn more life about cycle. the... Life no. cycle. Yes, okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is life cycle. How many people know what life cycle is? You've heard that? All right, good. Now, you know what, that is why I love third graders because they already know so much and they like to learn more. That's the way third graders are. They're the best kids in the whole school. Well, when we talk about life cycles, it's really important in third grade to learn about life cycles and we know that people have life cycles because you're in third grade now. Where were you before? Second grade. Second grade. And first? First grade. Before pre-K, well, we had babies. You were baby, and then you were a toddler, and then pretty soon you got to go to pre-K. After third grade, you're going to go somewhere else. Fourth yeah. grade. Yeah, and fifth and sixth, and, and hopefully, okay, to college, and someday you'll get married and have, have a child of your own, perhaps. That would be a big job, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, people have life cycles, animals have life cycles, insects have life cycles, and plants have life cycles. See, all the plants that I have here today, boys and girls, these are plants that butterflies like. Do you think these plants are going to stay alive forever? No. No. But before they die, they're going to make something special. What will it be? Fruit. Honey. Honey. Baby. Seed. Nectar. I don't know. Okay. Seed. They're going to make seeds, and the seeds are going to give us some new plants. So won't it be nice to have new seeds? Well, let me talk about these plants just for a minute. This is one called Blue Mist, if I can get it out of here. And if you have this in your yard, the, uh, when the monarch butterflies come, they will just cover it up because they love how it smells and they love to land their little feet right on the top. It gives them a place to stand, and they love that plant. And then there's another plant in here that they like. Oh, they like all these plants, but there is, well, this one is part of a lemon tree. They like that. And some fennel and lots of other things. I have some uh, milkweed in here and that's the monarch's favorite plant because, well, we'll talk about that later, but all of these things are connected. Did you know that? The plants, the animals, the people, the earth, we're all connected and we all need each other. Okay, what is a butterfly? Raise your hand if you think you know the answer. What is the butterfly? It's an insect. That's right, it's an insect. And the butterfly has three parts to his body. How many people already know that? You already know that? Okay, good. Then we don't have to talk about that very much because you already know that. But there are some little interesting things I'll tell you about their body. For one thing, they have a little thing that I guess we would call a nose, but it's more like one of those party things. You blow it and it goes out. It Is makes a circle. It, it, yes, you're right. It works like a straw. And what? who knows what they do with that straw? They, they suck in like the juice or, or the, the honey. Yeah, they suck in the juice from the plant and that, they, that roll they roll it out and then they roll it back. And that juice is called? Nectar. Good job. You already know that. Okay. 
And then they have the and and what do they do? You know what those do? They smell. Good job, smell. Okay. Then the this is the top part of the butterfly. Then we have the thorax, and the thorax is the wings, wings and the feet. legs. Yes. And do they have how many legs do they have? Six. Six. And how many wings do they have? Two. Right, it might look like two, but there's really four. Yes, sir? Um, uh, uh, butterfly is a, a prey for a spider. Yes, uh, there are many predators who would like to eat the butterfly. Spiders are one, lizards are another. So you know that word predator? Predator, have you heard that before? Yes. Okay, you know it, that's great. I don't have to explain everything. And then, oh, I wanted to tell you about the legs. What, what's, what do they do with their feet? Um, yeah, they walk, but walk, I mean, their feet do something special for them. Walk. Do you know? They land on their feet. They land on their feet. But you know what they do with, with their feet? They taste with their feet. Like we taste with our tongue, they taste with their feet. Oh, now, one reason that the, butterf the mother butterfly needs to taste is she has to find a special place to put her eggs. Because a monarch butterfly has to have the milkweed plant. If she doesn't find the milkweed plant, her eggs will die. So she's flying everywhere looking for one. Yes? That it's perfect. It's a perfect a, a milkweed plant is a perfect home because if they eat from the milkweed plant, the predators don't like them. They have to spit them out because they taste so bad and they're poison to some other predators. So that's why the milkweed plant is so important to the uh, to the uh, monarch, monarch butterfly. We call it a host plant. The host plant is like the home for that butterfly. And then the abdomen is another part, and that's where they have their heart. And instead of having lungs to breathe like we do, they just have some little holes where the air comes in. Isn't that neat? Okay. So the next part is about the life cycle, but I bet you guys already know about that. Okay, shh, just a second. Let's do one person at a time. Read the first one for me. Egg, right, just, just the top, egg. egg. Uh, okay, and the egg is a little teeny tiny, like if you had the end of a pencil, it's about like the end of a pencil, tiny, tiny, and it hatches in about four to six days. And who can read this number two, okay? Larva. Larva. And the, the, another name for the larva is this word. Who can read that? Caterpillar. Caterpillar. And the caterpillar is very hungry. You had that story, didn't you? Yes, and so let me tell you how hungry these guys are right here. What are those? Oh, that's a caterpillar. One is in a pepper. It's right there. Do you see? Okay. Do you want me to tell you about them? Yes. Okay. This one is trying to be a chrysalis. He hangs up there like a J. See, the, he looks like a J shape, and he is like a chrysalis. He is going to make a little house for himself and and he's all tied in there and when he comes out he could turn he'll, into a he'll be a butterfly now these down here boys and girls we have one right here and there's another one but i think I'll, here he is right here you see this one it's a pretty good sized caterpillar those guys are busy eating the milkweed leaves and my friend jeanette loaned this to me it belongs to her and she had uh, milkweed in here yesterday and they ate it all up and I had to go and get some more last night, and they are eating it up too. So this afternoon, we're going to have to hurry and hurry and get some more milkweed because they are so hungry. I know you guys would like to see them, wouldn't you? Like to see them? Let's just take time for that, and you can see them up close. I, yeah, I know it. I can't be still enough. Why well, they're shaking because I'm moving them. I don't want to move them. Oh, that's pretty. They're so cute. Aren't they cute? I love them. I like the colors. 
Uh, they're beautiful colors. Why is that one bigger than all the rest of the why do, ones? Why do you think? Because he's been eating it. Maybe he ate more. <laughs> Maybe he's the next one to hang up like a chrysalis. Mm -hmm. My name is Sandy Katz. I am a McLennan County Master Gardener. And what we do is teach children how to garden, how to be respectful of their environment. And we go around and do education. We garden with adults and children. My personal favorite thing is to work with children because I'm a retired school teacher. So I love to come and be in your classroom and be in your school. And today we're learning about the life cycle of a butterfly. Okay, so let's come down here. We're, we were about to do the chrysalis. He spits out this sticky stuff right here so that he can hang from the branch or the stick. So be sure and put that little place right there that he hangs. And that chrysalis is a hard shell. Is he going to keep being a caterpillar inside that chrysalis? No. No, he's going to go through that word we talked about, meta what? Metamorphosis. And he's going to make a complete change from a caterpillar into a butterfly. Do you think that'd be sort of like being inside of a sleeping bag? Yeah. It'd be kind of like being inside of a sleeping bag. Would you want to be stay, stay inside of a sack all the time? No. Oh, I wouldn't. What do you think the first thing he's going to do when he comes out of that chrysalis? We talked about it. What? He's going to stretch his wings out. He's so glad to be out of there. Now, after you draw your chrysalis, let's come over here and make a butterfly. Is a butterfly an insect or a spider? An insect. It's an insect. So how many legs does it have? Six. An insect has six legs. How many body parts does an insect have? Three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. What's on top of his head? What do you call those? Antenna. That's right. Make, I made his body first and then his wings. Let's see how you're doing. Go ahead and make your body of your butterfly. We have some real artists in this class. Look at you, man, you draw way better than I do. You're gonna stick your hand in here and then you're going to grab one of your seeds. And you need to put your seed in the little hole, just like this, and then you're going to cover it. Do not smush it. You see, do not smush it because if you smush it, then the plant's not going to be able to, um, it's to break. breathe. But it's a little bit watery. So if you notice, oh, these are tiny, tiny, tiny. So tiny. You see? Oh my goodness, look how tiny they are. <laughs> All right, Olivia. So take a little pinch. Remember, make the hole. Let me see. Make the hole. Them are little dots. And then take a little pinch. You know what a pinch is? Yeah. And then drop it in there. And then cover it. That's enough. One of the fifth grade teaks is understanding alternative energy. And so uh, for Earth Day, we decided to make a solar oven, but it's more of a solar oven challenge between fourth and fifth grade. Uh, we, we wanted to give the kids an opportunity to build a solar oven, but with their own design. And so the, the challenge is, does it melt faster with the lid up or the lid down? Or what about insulating it with paper? And so this is just a fun activity and at the end of the result, we'll have a, a delicious s'more. Fourth and fifth grade has already started. They put theirs out early in the morning and you can see as some have already started to melt. Uh, I'm excited about this treat. When you drink a water bottle, when you drink it all, there's just one thing and you don't know it at all. Recycle.
Thank you for joining us here at Alta Vista Elementary School where our students are getting the opportunity to apply the skills they have learned in their science classes on their Earth Day projects. Thank you for watching Waco ISD.